My story started off with a one pound bet and then it developed from that onto online and then when it went online my gambling changed a little bit so that it just became a lot easier and I used gambling as a coping skill for other stuff that was going on in my life and over time it developed into a heavier heavier gambling to the point where I was in charge of a post office in Ireland and I was able to have access to money and because of the pressures of financial pressures I was I started taking money like I done something I never thought I could do I started taking money to try gamble my way out of the problem that I created for myself and it caught up with me in the end obviously and I deserved I deserved to be caught when I got caught and I ended up going to prison I ended up um, getting four years of one suspended and I spent 18 months in prison and then I re-educated myself and came out and became an addiction counsellor and I currently work with Epic Risk Management trying to bring their programme into Ireland, education, awareness around problem gambling, stop people falling off the cliff as I did. You and your wife found out that she was pregnant, what yeah. was your reaction then? Sadness, fear, um, again as I said in the presentation I was trying not to become, I was trying not to um, get pregnant or not me get pregnant but her get pregnant because I was worried about the financial implications of it and when she became pregnant I was there was a mix of joy of course but also real fear fear of how we, how am I going to be able to afford this how may how am I going to be able to hide the fact that I, I owe thousands and thousands and no one knows about this so was would I <clears throat> would my secret come out um, and I was afraid to tell people I was um, fear pride shame stop me from telling anyone so there was just really mixed emotions and even the night she was born was mixed emotions too which is tough. What tips could you give to other players that are in the risk zone of uh, getting an addiction? The biggest thing I, I wished I had done was open up and talk at an earlier stage so when you feel that it's starting to take a little bit of control is to just open up to anyone it doesn't have to be a professional at that stage friend family and just because when you externalise it from yourself, it does help. And that's, that's my recovery, is by talking and, and um, sharing my experience is a big part of it, but also by talking when problems come up and finding new ways of coping with things that life throws at us. What <coughs> factors were important for you in this process of getting out of your addiction, you think? The biggest thing, I, single most thing, was accepting I had a problem. Um, and that took a while. Um, as I said in the presentation, Six weeks into treatment, I still didn't believe I had a problem. Even though I'd gambled over ten and a half million, stole one point seven five million, I still thought um, I was just unlucky. And crazy as it seems now, looking back, um, for me that's the biggest part is taking responsibility and accepting you have a problem and being open to the process of help and change. There is life after gambling. If you have gone to that stage where it's become a huge problem, you can have a life without it. And I think it's to show that hope and. That would be basically it. There is, there's always hope um, that you can get this and you can beat this.